Hey guys, analyzing real life scenarios caught on tape. We're going to go over all the scenarios. We showed you four scenarios. Let's start with the first one. Our first scenario takes place in a jail when a security guard comes to a prisoner. The prisoner stands up, punching the security guard, then bear hugging him and putting him on the ground. We talked about the concept that we don't want to get to the ground. And if someone bears hugs you, you can use your hands. You can sprawl to change your central weight. Um, so he's not able to put you on the ground. We showed you step by step how to use those thumbs to his eyes, how to change your central weight with a sprawl. Uh, our second scenario was about the same video, the same scenario exactly, but they got already to the ground. What happened if you already got to the ground, the place you don't wanna get, but so many times in a street fight, even 50% of the times in a street fight, we said you get to the ground. So you, you need to have um, good techniques to handle uh, um, this disadvantage when you get to the ground, when someone is on top of you, that's what we had, it's punching you. We showed you how to use your hips, how to cover up, of course, how to use the power of your hips to get the attacker close to you so he cannot keep punching you and knock you off more and more. And how to turn the disadvantage to an advantage, how to flip the attacker um, over you and take, take control of the situation. Our third scenario happened in an ATM room. We spoke about taking advantage of an opportunity, sometimes in an attack. The attacker is not always focused. He's talking to you, he's not attacking you yet. And using an attack, sometimes the best defense, as we said, is a good attack. So we uh, showed there a scenario that happened in an ATM. We talked about, of course, if you're getting robbed, the best thing is to give your money. We're not gonna educate you about it. But um, if you do have um, an immediate life danger and you have an opportunity, use it to go with sharp and direct and precise attacks towards weak spots. So, the, so you cancel the plans of the attacker. If, a, if an attacker is planning on punching you, robbing you, and you know how to attack, how to surprise him, you might cancel his old plans. Our fourth scenario was a domestic assault when a guy runs after a woman and is, is abusing her. They get into a store and he keeps abusing, punching her and attacking her when uh, the employees in the store are getting involved and trying to separate, take control of the attacker um, and help the woman. So we showed you a couple of techniques how to help another person. It's a very important concept in self-defense, how to take sometimes care of another attacker, how to help your loved one, the community. Very important concept, how to use another person because if you are going to help them, you better know how to help them. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.